Today we are reading Jeffrey and Sloth. This story was written by Carrie Lynn Winters and illustrated by Ben Hodson. We have permissions by Orca Book Publishers. Jeffrey looked at the blank page. It glared back. He tried to write, but he couldn't think of something to write about, so he doodled instead. His ideas came slowly. He found himself sketching a round-bellied, long-armed sloth. Focus on the words, Jeffrey muttered to himself. Just forget about the words, whispered a voice. Jeffrey looked around, his eyes wide. Who said that? Down on the page, now covered with doodles, the sloth he had just sketched looked different. Hey, I didn't draw you with your hands on your hips, Jeffrey said. Good writers have lots of ideas, declared Sloth. You don't have any. Whoa! Jeffrey jumped to his feet. You should stick to drawing, said Sloth. W -w 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 what d -d do you know anyway? Jeffrey stammered. I know you're a lousy writer, said Sloth. I am not a lousy writer. I just can't think of anything to write about. Well, instead of drawing the CN Tower, make yourself useful and sketch me a chair, Sloth pointed at a perfect spot on the page. Jeffrey sat down and did as he was told. He drew an overstuffed chair. Sloth relaxed into the chair. This is good but a pillow would make it even better. Draw me a puffy pillow. Jeffrey drew a pillow. Now sketch me a cozy blanket. Arr, Jeffrey said. I'll never finish my homework at this rate. Sloth laughed. You're right, he said. It is taking forever, so do something you're good at and draw me a blanket. What do you think's going to happen? Do you think he'll draw him a blanket? Or do you think he'll keep writing? Guess we have to flip the page and find out. Jeffrey was tired of listening to Sloth. He began to write. Once there was a pudgy Sloth who searched for the world's coziest blanket. Who are you calling pudgy? Sloth said. Jeffrey ignored Sloth and went on writing. He looked up high for that blanket. Sloth looked to the sky. He looked down low for that blanket. Sloth peeked under the chair. I sure would like that blanket. Jeffrey now realized what was happening. Oh, I get it. You don't want me to write because you're lazy. No, no, that's not it, Sloth said. Oh, yeah? So if I wrote a story making you dig clear through the earth, you wouldn't care? Sloth looked worried. Absolutely not. And if I wrote about you swimming across the ocean, that would make you happy? Sloth was sweating now. I might be happy. How about if I made you search all of Canada for a cozy bull? Sloth interrupted. If I could find that cozy blanket, I wouldn't mind. You realize that Canada is a big place. You would have to climb mountains, trek across the tundra, paddle the Great Lakes, and hike the prairies. Well, you can't make me. Oh yeah, Jeffrey said. He picked up his pencil and sketched a shovel and continued his story. He began to dig. Sloth had no choice but to pick up the shovel and dig. He dug a hole clear through the earth to India. Now I need some water. Quick, write about water, ordered Sloth. Then he swam to France. He really wanted to find the world's coziest blanket. That's not what I meant. This water is freezing, said Sloth, his teeth chattering. But the coziest blanket wasn't there. Now Jeffrey was smiling. He would have to search all of Canada. He looked and looked, climbing, trekking, paddling, hiking, wandering, stumbling along. <clears throat> Sloth said, his claws dragged on the ground. 
I'm afraid that I made a great mistake, Sloth was panting. He was not used to so much exercise. I said that your writing was lousy, Sloth huffed. I was wrong. I should have said that your writing is very engaging and that it makes a lot of sense. Honestly, I mean that. And in fact, you're a good, no, a great, no, a marvelous, right? What's going to happen? Do you think he'll stop writing the story? Or do you think he'll make Sloth keep looking for the blanket? Okay, said Jeffrey. He looked down at the page. Yes, he cheered. Thanks to Sloth, his homework was done. Jeffrey beamed as he sketched a blanket and wrote. And finally, the very tired Sloth found the world's coziest blanket, wrapped himself up in it, and fell fast asleep. At least for that evening. That's the end of this book. I hope you liked it, and I will read you a book again soon. Bye, grade ones!